We have a Mariner 8 horsepower here today. It's actually made by Yamaha in Japan. And it hasn't been ran in a really long time, so we're gonna see if we can get this thing going today. It's a pretty clean motor. Let's take the hood off here. I think we should pull the plugs first, see what they look like. weren't over tightened so that's good don't look bad they're a little oily but maybe somebody oiled the cylinders before they stored it Not worn out or nothing. I think I'm gonna spray a little <clears throat> uh, two-stroke mix in here and the spark plug holes. It's, it's been sitting so long, so let me do that, and then we'll we'll be back. Okay, let's put these spark plugs back in. Put them in hand for but in hand by hand first. You don't want to cross thread this. <clears throat> you want to make sure not to over tighten these either. Strip them. go till they're tight and then I go about a quarter turn put the boots back on <clears throat> this motor is super clean under here See what happens. Make sure it's in neutral. Choke out. Put the throttle on start. There you go, half choke.
see how easy it starts. I got the compression tester here. Screw in this part. Just do it hand tight. It has an, an O ring on it, so it seals pretty easily. do this make sure you have both the spark plugs out or the coils disconnected because or if it has the kill switch have the kill switch on you don't want to try to start while you're doing this so now what we're going to do is we're going to hold the throttle wide open we'll hit the pull starter a few times and see what our compression is at Looks like we're right at about a hundred, which isn't bad. I want these to be even more than anything. So let's do the bottom one now. It's a little bit more of a trickier spot to get this in. Clear this. This one's close to the other one. This one looks like it's at 105. So a five pound difference, that's not bad. Let's do the top one again. Yeah, it moved up a little bit, just about where the other one is, so we got good even compression on this motor. 
I'll say this thing's good to go. It's gonna be a good runner. It runs really good on the just idling here, but I'll have to get this on the boat and see how it does it wide open. But I don't think we're gonna have any problems. This thing's a pretty sweet motor. I do the impeller soon and change the spark plugs just because and then do a lower unit gear oil change. I think this thing is going to be ready to go.